welcome today we will see how phase delay is given for a controlled full wave rectifier for this controlled full wave rectifier the phase delay is given as 0.005 now let us see how they have got 0.005 First, let us take a waveform. Here, I am assuming the frequency of the waveform as 50 Hz. Here, the time period is unknown, but frequency is known. By using the frequency, I am calculating the time period. Time period is equal to 1 by F. Here, the frequency is 50. If you are doing for 60 Hz, you can change this 50 as 60. But here, I assumed the frequency as 50 and hence T is equal to 1 by 50. The time period for one cycle is 0 0.02 seconds or 20 milliseconds. Next, this is the time period for one cycle. By using this data, I am calculating time period for one positive cycle and time period for one negative cycle. Time period for positive cycle is 0 0.01 seconds. Time period for one negative cycle is again 0 0.01 seconds. Now, firing angle or phase delay. Firing angle is normally varied from 0 to 180. The minimum value of firing angle is 0. The maximum of value of firing angle is 180 for an SCR. Here, now let us represent the firing angle 180 in time domain. Here, the time taken for completing one positive cycle is 0 0.01 seconds, and hence. Alpha is equal to 180. This angle is represented as the equivalent phase delay for alpha 180 is 0 0.01 seconds. Next. Now let us get the phase delay value for alpha is equal to 90 degree. 90 degree, this angle it is midway between 0 and 180. This angle is midway between 0 and 180. And hence to get the phase delay, I am dividing 0 0.01 by 2. This will give you the time period of your 90 degree. The value is 0 0.005 second. Now this is the phase delay for alpha is equal to 90 degree. Then if I want the phase delay for alpha is equal to 45 degree, then we will see how to get it. You can see that alpha that is 45. 45 is midway between 0 and 90 degree. 90 degree time value is 0 0.005. 45 is midway between 0 to 90 and hence I am dividing 0 0.005 divided by 2. Here the value is 0 0.0025. This is the phase delay for firing angle 45. What if, if the firing angle is alpha is equal to 135, this is 1 midpoint plus 145 degree. I can get the phase delay for 135 by adding the time period of 90 plus 145. By this way, I can simulate the full wave rectifier circuit for various firing angle. Now let us verify this firing angle using MATLAB. Now you can see that Initially, you will give the firing angle as 0 and then simulate the circuit.
this is the output of the circuit for zero phase delay. Next, now let us change the phase delay to 0 0.005. This is how the firing angle is 90 degree. Let's simulate the circuit. You can see that now the firing angle is 90 degree. Then we will change the firing angle to 45 degree. It is 0 0.0025. Now the firing angle is 45 degree. Next you will check for 135 degree. For 135 degree the value is 0 0.0075. This is the way by which phase delay is given to your controlled full wave rectified circuit or firing angle is selected in a full wave rectified circuit in MATLAB. Thank you.